All right, guys, so I'm gonna start off by shooting at this big guy here in the middle. I just got these little stickies out of a Caldwell pack. Um, I put on a sheet of paper here, so I'm gonna shoot this big guy in the middle just in case I have some major inconsistencies. I got a lot of space to see where my shots are hitting. Probably move down to these guys, a little more space. I'll do some fine tuning up here on these dudes. Got my little tool that comes in the box um, with the sight to make any adjustments necessary. Trusty staple gun and obviously my pistol. So let's give it a shot. All right, guys, I'm standing at seven yards right now. Uh, I am going to shoot from the standing position as opposed from with a rest. Um, if I feel like I'm pulling my shots or I'm not making accurate hits, I'll switch to the rest. I might fire a couple shots just from bench rest at the end to see um, if I can maybe tighten it up a little bit. Uh, shooting Winchester 115 grain white box. I'm zeroing at seven yards because I noticed when I purchased this pistol and shooting with iron sights, at seven yards, when I was shooting at like a quarter size dot, if I would do just my standard iron sight three dot hold, when I would shoot, it would be directly on that. It was super accurate out of the box. And so I'm gonna zero this thing um, with the red dot, kind of at the same yardage or what I think is consistent with what the iron sights were sighted in for. So let's, uh, let's give it a try here. So as you can see, I'm just a little bit to the left. Um, in terms of elevation, I was you know, pretty consistent. Um, I'm gonna crank off a couple more before I make any adjustments there, but I am gonna try to bring it over to the right just a little bit. All right, guys, got my tool here. And like I said, I was shooting a little bit to the left. So your left and right adjustment is on the side of the optics. So I'm gonna make a couple clicks on that. I'm going to try three clicks for now, see how that goes. And we were only off by maybe half an inch to an inch. Three clicks might be a little bit too much, but let's see where we're at with that, and then we'll come back. Okay, so we were still pretty far to the left, so let's go ahead and make a larger adjustment that was three clicks let's try six clicks this time so total of nine all right let's give that a shot Well, windage looks a lot better. Um, I think I pulled these shots low, so I'm not gonna say that I'm gonna make any adjustments there yet, um, but I am moved you know, over in terms of my left and right, more center of what I was, pretty left there, pretty left there. So it was a total of nine clicks, which I didn't think it was gonna be that many for only being off by an inch or so. So I'm gonna move up, shoot these little guys. Um, I think I'll probably shoot two of them make some minute adjustments. And then from there, I think I probably will put it on the bench and try to shoot um, off of a rest just to really dial it in. Okay guys, so this is a brand new pistol. Uh, one thing I wanna point out is I'm Maybe I'm experiencing some um, impact shift as a result of like break in, not really sure. Cause when I first started shooting, my elevation was great. And I was just off to the left a little bit, off to the left a little bit, corrected that. And then all of a sudden my shots started dropping. So I shot this group here and we're at um, great in terms of left and right, or pretty good in terms of left and right and just about an inch, maybe an inch and a half low. So I'm gonna make some adjustments there, see what happens. Um, 
hindsight on this is maybe I should have broke in the gun before getting it sighted. Uh, brand new pistol, just wanted to throw it together, get all the bits and bobs on there, but uh, maybe I should have done a 500 round break in prior to sight in with the optic, but we'll see how it goes. We'll just keep tuning it. So that's about the same distance um, in terms of how far off I am as I was with left and right as I am uh, with the up and down. So I'm low by about an inch and a half. So I'm gonna go up 10 clicks. All right, let's see what that does. Okay, so that is a lot better. I think it might be a touch high. I might come down one click. Um, I don't know if that's ammunition related or if I pulled that shot. I don't feel like I pulled that one. And I really don't feel like I pulled that either. So not sure on that. Uh, I'm going to move over. I am going to shoot off the bench now uh, for these last couple ones just to uh, kind of make some finite adjustments and then also try to rule out any um, operator error or input on my end. So let's give it a shot. So this is my shooting off of a bench group, which was super awkward and I did not like it. And then I switched and shot from standing and drilled it. So yeah, I'm just gonna stick with standing. Okay, so I'm not gonna sight it in off the bench. Honestly, I felt super uncomfortable doing that. Um, <laughs> I don't know why. Never shot a pistol off of a bench, but I didn't feel solid and my shots were inconsistent from what they were standing, like substantially. So I'm just gonna sight it in standing um, or freehand and not off of a bench because regardless of how accurate it is off of a bench, whenever I go to use it in practice, I'm not gonna be shooting it off of a bench. So I'm gonna shoot it how I always shoot it. And hopefully that's as accurate as I need it to be. Um, so also this is kind of like a dot torture drill. If you guys have ever done one of those, um, T-Rex Arms has a, a uh, target over on their website that you can print off. It's literally just a bunch of like quarter or dime size, nickel sized um, dots on a piece of paper. And the goal is to try to hit every single dot consistently across the board, which doesn't sound all that difficult, but when you're standing at like seven or 10 yards and you're trying to hit something the size of a nickel, um, consistently and breaking your shot cleanly. It's a lot harder than it seems. I'll come out here and blow through some A zone hits and feel like Billy Badass. And then I try to go to shooting, you know, super accurate and super consistently. And I'm like, oh shit, I suck at this. So uh, I'm gonna do some more dot torture here real quick and confirm my zero, but I think I've got it where I, I need it to be at. All right, just did three more follow-up shots and that's pretty consistent for me. So I'm happy with that. I think in a life or death situation, that's that's pretty accurate for me. I'm happy with it. Um, I'm gonna stick with that. I'm gonna do some more dot torture here for a little bit, um, but I'm gonna call that dialed in. What I'm gonna do from here um, that you'll see in a later episode is just kind of confirm my zero as I, as I go. So again, the gun's brand new. These are the first shots that I've taken out of it. Um, so it is zero now, but the gun is warm because I've been shooting all day. So what I want to do is I'm going to come back on a different day uh, when the gun's cold and check zero uh, on a cold bore and see uh, how consistent it is. All right, guys, so far so good with the uh, red dot uh, from Hollow Sun. Again, it's the 507CX2. 
Uh, pretty happy with how it's performing today. Uh, siding in was very easy, super easy. All of the adjustments and everything have a positive click to them. They're easy to get to. I did put it on the auto brightness feature since I'm out here on the range today. What I did notice in having it in manual and then locked mode is when I got here, it just was not bright enough. So I think I am gonna try out the auto brightness feature for a while, um, but again, really happy with it. Like the way it's performing so far and I'll update you guys as I go. Thanks for watching guys. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think and as always, keep shooting.